Bukaba joins me now to walk through your comments. Yes, indeed. Hello again, Kadi. And Nigerians have been saying quite a lot about many issues, you know, uh, across different strata. But we we'll start with this very concerning one. It's coming in from Edo State, and uh, it was an explosion that was recorded at an Edo filling station. Uh, there were several people injured, and uh, vehicles were damaged, particularly during a CNG refueling. I, I wonder if. You know, the incident had to do with an explosion from CNG. Well, it's not clear at all. There's no backstory. It's just a video. But if indeed it was, it may just feel concerns about the safety of transition from petrol to CNG. Even though it's cleaner energy, but there are concerns that, you know, it's highly inflammable and there could be, you know, issues. Of well, the experts have spoken you know, time and again yeah. about uh, how, why it is even called compressed natural gas. That, that in itself speaks to how uh, not volatile it is compared to others uh, but clearly this video has raised concerns but again as i said earlier on no context whatsoever it's just a video making the rounds and uh, it's quite curious uh, what really happened and i think that's what uh, the authorities should be investigating and clarifying so do we have the video now maybe we should go to the comments first and speaking of which um or God don ftb i pardon me if i didn't get your name correctly is the first user this morning and he says while CNG offers environmental benefits, handling it requires caution. Always prioritize safety over convenience or cost-saving shortcuts. Oh, so yeah. there you have it. Uh, we need more education. And we were talking just yesterday about you know, the Senate asking uh, the National Orientation Agency to commence sensitization work mm -hmm. on the dangers of um, tanker spills being highly inflammable. Uh, why not you know, also go into this area as well, particularly with the advocacy for the transition from petrol yeah. into CNG. So it's important to give uh, some sort of closure to that event. The video has been trending. Uh, so let's know what exactly happened and uh, how people can forestall uh, those kinds of incidents in the future. Mm -hmm. Because if that's the alternative, mm -hmm. you don't want this kind of, um, well, I say bad media. Uh, and we don't it. have want this kind of incidents Definitely. as well. So um, well, let's tell you this. Uh, the police has been issuing warnings uh, from time to time to POS operators. And a lot of people have raised concerns as well uh, about some POS operators, their MO, how they aid crimes, kidnapping, theft and arrest. So this video uh, was done by one of the police PRs. Would like you to watch it? And I'll tell you what Nigerians are saying as the police is warning POS operators that transactions above 500,000 Naira can lead them into trouble. Take a listen. Particularly POS operators, any person that wants to do transaction above 500,000 Naira should go to the bank. Whenever you ask a POS operator, you are receiving money too much that is unreasonably high. Understand that there is an element of crime in it because they are supposed to go to the bank. This lady here was contacted by this suspect who collected her account number, her POS account number, and sent 4 million naira into the account. 4 million naira that was taken from a suspect, from a victim who was kidnapped. 4 million naira ransom money. And she said her own profit was 40,000 naira. Madam, So, um, there you go. Mm. And uh, again, these issues have been raised. Uh, how, in fact, sometimes you realize people's WhatsApps are hacked mm -hmm. and they give uh, those POS uh, account numbers and then you wonder, uh, these things can be traced, mm -hmm. right? But when you try to trace it, the trail runs cold. Also, the mm -hmm. banks as well. Issues have been raised about banks uh, supporting the investigations like this. Sometimes when you approach the banks, what you get is a stonewall. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, we cannot give you this. I like a theft. A crime has just been committed. committed. Come on. And if, you know, the, the a complainant has evidence, is right. able to present evidence that a crime has just been committed, why not just comply and provide, um, you know, the account details exactly. of the account holder? Almost like uh, you're an accomplice at that point. And this goes to support the point that we need money in the ATMs. Why are the banks making the POS businesses to thrive? It's not as if the POS are not performing the functions that they require, but a second exchange rate has been uh, pretty much established in the commercial cycle in Nigeria. The, the ATMs are not working, and that leaves much to be desired. Definitely. CBN, we need an intervention in this area. So IBK Crypto just literally captures uh, some of the things we've said, says that my own take is that uh, the federal government should find a way to review 
uh, or limit the amount POS operators can receive at once. As I notice, the majority of a scam nowadays are done through POS and uh, goes without saying, really. We mentioned some of them kidnapping, mm. theft, hacking, and the rest. So please, 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 uh, we can't just allow these things to continue and turn a blind eye. Something must be done. Uncle KD is the next user, and he writes in saying, it's a stark reminder of the potential risks involved in handling large transactions. I completely agree that we must prioritize our safety and integrity in business. The consequences of being involved, even indirectly, in illegal activities can be severe and far-reaching. So if a, uh, an account holder wants to transfer above 500,000 naira into your account, as a POS operator, this goes as a lesson that you must ask questions about the nature of the transaction. And it raises the uh, point we've made time and again about consequences. And the question is quite simple. What about the regulators? And this is the next user, Theodore Basil, has this to say that uh, POS CBN guidelines are not being implemented by banks that issue POS um, machines. And uh, I, I mean, this is, yes, this is general, uh, generalizing, but I know that um, it's important to raise those issues. These have aided and promoted fraud in various ways. And if POS operators are mandated to have a physical shop and a working CCTV camera, mm. the level of crime rate will reduce because that's what you have with the ATMs. The ATMs have cameras. So mm. when you go there for a transaction, it takes a picture of you, mm -hmm. so there's a record. You can always check who withdrew money from this account, who did this. Mm -hmm. But with the POS, uh, no, it's not even like banks. POS can be in your room, in the comfort of your room, and you're doing different things. So it's important to enforce those things. Yes, it might raise the cost of doing business for POSs, but we need to find a way to reduce crime through POS. Yeah, and uh, just before we go, we have this one, which is in equally important. Mm. FG officially declares the end of fuel FX subsidies. And you know, that got some quite a few Nigerians talking. Precious is the first writer, and uh, they say this means that they will increase fuel price again because they have been paying fuel subsidy on code, but refuse to carry the masses along. Now they're telling us officially instead of hiding it. And that's the big issue of transparency that sticks out, or the lack of it. Well, the president has said subsidy is gone. I don't know if that was not official enough. Uh, in well, his, um, in his, uh... this is this not confirmation that uh, partial subsidy has been paid all over, uh, all along. I think it's confirmation of the backup, well, the flip flops, the uh, you know here and there that we've seen. And uh, hey, I'm not sure how much trust uh, this has uh, really reduced in that already. A widening gap of trust, but there needs to be a rebuilding. I think um, it's quite a lot, really, that we can take, we can walk you through the world of X, and I'm just spot for choice. Uh, but we'll take a moment, and we'll start with uh, the economy. The World Bank says great trajectory for Nigeria's economy, but on the flip side, the institution also says that well, there are a lot of people uh, who are suffering as a result of rising costs and inflation. So um, we'll weigh these issues and then look at the reality and some of the solutions being proffered uh, by the institution and our very own economists. That's in just a few seconds. This concerns the money in your pocket. So stay with us. We'll be right back.